What are you doing? Okay, on the road. This will be the last of the Escalade driving for a while. I'm picking up my dad's truck for a week. See if we can get moved around as far as cars go. Right up there is my dad's lot he's messing around on, building stuff. And right up here is his office. And I am swapping out this Escalade for his truck. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Lots of cars on my channel. Let's see what we get here. He rents to these guys. Data disposal and fleet supply. Hey, there's his, that's his secondary car. Oh man, so sad to see it up in the air. <laughs> it makes me wanna cry. I wanna cry, I wanna cry. Ooh, door ding. That's a big one too. Holy hell. His, wow, somebody scratched that. His tranny's been shifting odd. Ooh, bam! What the hell? Come on now, Dad. Oh, I bet you that might have been that deer he hit. The tires are good. Things pretty clean for the time he's had it. I'll tell you that much. Oh wow. Yeah, Nate, there's a bunch of straps and chains and binders. There sure is. There's a whole mess of shit back here. I forget what year truck this is. No clue. I guess the tranny is slightly sluggish. When you start off. Barely missed that mirror. Hope I can back out of this thing. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it on the hill. Breeder's still in the other truck. He's probably like, What's going on? Yeah, buddy. I'd much rather pull this trailer with that. Um, I was gonna pull it with this. This ain't got trailer brakes, which ain't the end of the world, but at the same time. I would just much rather have trailer brakes. Jeez, missed that gear there. It's a good truck. He bought it brand new. I think me and him both bought about three of them, and then I stopped when I realized I could work on anything for the same money. He kept one that's warranted. And he was getting ready to sell and buy another one. I'm like, dude, don't sell it this time, man. Just keep that thing right up to 100. We usually sell them three, four years. Keep these things to 100 and get a warranty out of it. Sell it right before at 91 or, I don't know. Sell it at 130, 150 when you're done a bit more. Okay, let's get these mirrors adjusted. Before I get on the road. This stands out like a sore thumb. Get my ass pulled over is what I'm gonna do.
You ready to go in Grandpa's truck? You're going, don't you worry. I have to. I'm gonna have to move you first, huh? Grandpa's rock! Okay, I got the gun checked done. All I got is a two, three boxes of. 30 out six bullets and a bottle of tequila from Mexico that was probably for a, a gift because you don't drink. What are you doing? Are you going with? This is the last place I gotta look for a gun. Before I leave. Okay. Did that. Did that. I'm gonna take my machete with me. Because when you can buy a five dollar machete, you buy a five dollar machete. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll clip more in a second. Well, I figured I'd look out front here. Wow, they make it into like a pate. They grind up data. Yeah, he just ain't got a lot of tires left. They just unbolted that whole back ass and everything came out. Pretty cool. There were some serious jack stands, by the way. All that stuff's gone. That's probably from the other one. Wow, it all just factory unbolts from a flange. Hate to see this bad boy up in the air like that. It's still a good car. He just put a new uh, transmission in it. Diesel truck, here we go. There's Breeder, in the middle, ready to go with me. Make sure, should just make sure everything goes okay. That's just, that's just what Breeder does, okay? Okay, right up the road, you might have seen the building they built, right over there. My dad, I mean. Oh, I think they took Bear, too. Bear. If you remember Bear, it's the pit bull that was over here. Now I'm actually, they actually turned them into everybody they could imagine because they got all these nice little pinky buildings and he didn't have anything built on his lot. So I think he bought two of them and now he's going to build over here someday too. Pretty interesting. Nice place. But with that in mind, I'm going to be picking up this trailer. Yes sir. Yes sir. I wonder how good I am at backing up nowadays. I don't know if it's high enough. I haven't even jumped out of my truck yet. Nothing like that. Actually... And I haven't drove his truck. So I don't know where my hitch is. I don't want to hit his tailgate. And I don't have anybody to help me. I'm not far enough back, I know. Oh, fuck. Dead on like a... Uh, I don't know.
I bet you I'm a little bit too far back, but almost at on. <laughs> Let's see here. That might still be just a tad I need to go for. Like, oh, say, come on, a bad four. Who are you? Who do you think you're talking to here? Okay, let's see what we got. Nice new tire. Nice new tire. Oh, yeah, my dad said he had somebody weld that on to where he can smack it with his. Wow, man, there are four nice tires on this thing. Holy hell. I'd drive this thing anywhere. I may just end up doing that. I don't know why I like working from this side. Yeah, I'm dead on. I sure wish I had my boots. done this in a while. Not that you forget or anything. Just saying. I got no help, man. I got a kid starting on Friday in two days. We'll see what happens. He seems like a good guy. Oh, he's got these things wired back. Hello? Uh, is this uh, Montana Muscle and Classics? What can I do for you? Different dude. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I think he's out of business. I do too. Classics and vet by Fred. No, I don't know nothing about him. Okay. All right. Well, I, I think he was rebuilt his motor for somebody. And if I, I was just, I thought by chance maybe you guys were one of the same, but it doesn't sound like it's something. No, he's down the road for me. He's a different guy. He's just, I hear lots of people calling for him all the time and stuff. It's, not me though. Good luck. Right, thank you. Good luck, man. What are you? Are you? You're looking for the motor, or are you looking for the? What are you looking for? Oh, he rebuilt the motor for uh, my grandfather, and I was. Had, I just wanted to ask some questions about. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I found a number for. I think his company. You know, he called it Montana Classics or Montana Muscle and Corvettes, maybe. Or he, like he's that. Classics and Corvettes yeah. by Fred. Okay. No boots. No tools. It's okay. Man, we are safetyed up like a good thing now. Okay, a chunk of concrete over there. I gotta get off that. That's about it. Go potty. Go potty. Who's a trucker dog today? Come this way. You are just never been any good on a leash. She will not learn either. She's like, you know, screwed. I don't need a winch. Uh, I looked at my winch. A leash. So now. This bad boy. Did they weld it on there? Did they actually? Or it's just a two post winch. Wow, I might be able to bolt this other one on easy. We'll see. <clears throat> Get rid of this concrete. 
I want to get a picture. Come on this way. Come on this way. You I just can't go on a leash. That's a beautiful rock. That's big money. Okay, well, that's the truck. That's the trailer. We're on the way. Hey, now, my dad's case. I need a review on it. There's a review of that case on my stinking uh, YouTube. Look at that rock. That's as pretty as that one, but it's pretty. Another dog's been marking it. He sells gravel. Check this out. This here's like a, a black. One of the only black rocks you can get. I'll pour some water on it. Come on. Come on. We're gonna go. <laughs> what you got, potty? You know how you're being serious about it? Beautiful black rock. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for watching. I'll clip more in a while. We are. Come on. We are on the move. I honestly can't tell you how long it's been since I've pulled a trailer. A couple years for sure. I can't tell you. Can't even tell you how long it's been since I've remembered to push the button on my Google Glass. Good trailer. Good truck. Good luck. Let's. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, jeez. You're bad, whoever said that. All right, as I may have said in a previous video, I don't know what I'm going to edit in here, and I might just cut a bunch of this stuff. But I've got the truck, I got the trailer, I'm all hooked up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. They got a lot of campers and stuff in there. And I like it. Okay, almost back to my place. Gonna get online, get some video and done. And then go pick up a couple cars in two hours. At least one. I'd like to get two. If I can do two a day for the next 10 days, well, eight days, I'll be almost done. Think about that. It's just another job though. I don't have anybody to help me. Now I'm Mr. Trucker and Chainer Downer and all that stuff too. And I gotta remember to go 55. Oh, I keep forgetting. California, Montana, 75, wherever you go. 75, 75, 75. So that's 80. It's 80 now in a lot of places. And most of the big roads in Montana. And here we go. God, I haven't done this in a while. You know, you get rusty. Kinda. Well, not so much. You've seen how I backed up to the trailer for the first time in three or four years there. I'm good. I don't think you heard. No, really, I am kind of good. I did this back and forth everywhere you could imagine. Up and down the coast, up the five, up the 15, crossed into the Dakotas and over into the Michiganses and you name it. Okay, this is how the binders and straps are. Kind of a mercy mash. One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. I bought my trailer picked up. I borrowed my dad's truck. I didn't want to use my, um, yeah, these are some monster straps. It should work. 
If I know how to do this, I never know how to do these. Well, I'm not gonna think it's that. So I got one set over here. I never was good at rolling up binders, but I can do that, Dad. Read other side of bag, oh tag. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. 3,300 pound. So, now I got two chains, two binders, and at least two straps. Oh God, I hate when they get disconnected. And I'm supposed to have a brain or something. I can see myself now sitting up there in LA at the um, auction. Just sitting there like looking it up on YouTube because I don't know what I'm doing all that well. Okay, there's two nice ones. I guess if you have them in a big bunch, ain't nothing gonna blow out, but that ain't going nowhere. Man, I got this. I just need some shoes. I'm actually gonna have to stop at Walmart and buy socks. Okay. And the next thing is checking if my winch works because I haven't used that trailer in three years, four years. And my dad doesn't use it the same way I do. He hauls only bobcats and skid steers with a bucket so he just drives up to it with the bucket and pushes the trailer down with the bucket the whole trailer tilts and it takes a jack handle just a regular old jack handle hello I keep getting this door be opened. Maybe I wasn't closing it all the way. There's a jack. With a handle, it's a nice jack too. Wow, in a box. Huh. You know? <laughs> well, the jack doesn't. Turn the pet cup. Pet cup? I think so. Oh. Spent. These jocks, it's no good. But the handle is. Why? Why do I have to do stuff like that? Because it's my yard and I can. My garbage junk windshields that got broken in my trailer. Okay, so, I'm kind of excited actually. See, he welded that on. To where when he smacked it with the bucket, it didn't rip up the wood decking. Okay. And this one will not work like my old one. kind of cool. I never knew it did that. I think it comes out faster like that too. Okay. Wow. I was hoping. You know, this thing would work like this. Just problem after problem. And I could get a better grip on the side, but honestly, there's no use trying. With that set of pliers, I need something like that, but with a, yeah, like that, but different.
See, this just takes forever. Somebody with me, I can tinker around on something else. And be like, hey, go grab me something that's this. You know what I mean? It's definitely a whole different way of working by yourself. And I'm used to running places when I go. Well, I don't run and get worked up as much when I'm out here by myself. Need to get in the mode. <clears throat> Jeez. I almost bought a set last night at Harbor Freight, and I didn't. I thought I had a set. I said, ooh. And then I didn't buy them. I got nothing, man. They're in that car. I did the door panel. Still think I need them even with my hammer. My trusty, my trusty hammer. in my car. I'm going to hop in there real quick, Hector. I left my wrench in my car. I'm going to hop in there real quick. I looked all over for it. I couldn't remember where it went. Y yeah. And no, just not enough tools. <laughs> Is it? Come on. No, I did not leave it in there. He's just doing a cap and wire, plugs and wires. Fuck, it's not in here. That blows. Dang it, now I ain't got my right tool. I have to try the pliers again. Jacks. There we go, that should work. Where I cannot remember. To turn that little button on, on the side of my face. Now I'm pretty sure these work. But, boom, boom. Let's get some running lightage. Ooh, I got one out on the truck. They can't mess with me for that. They kiss my butt for that. Kiss my butt. Okay, running lights and that. We've got running and hazards. I should have everything. I think. I don't think I got no running lights. 
or the running lights don't come on with the hazards in this setup, or I'm just forgetting something, I'm gonna turn the hazards off. God, please have running lights. I mean, I guess I could always go home at nighttime with the flashers on. It's not gonna be that much, maybe like the last 20 minutes. I gotta have running lights, come on. Begging, begging, begging. No running lights. This changes my whole disposition. Days I feel so beat. Flashers would be blinkers. Brakes for sure. That's just odd. I guess it could be on the connector here. Like that, come on. I wonder how that's never been replaced. Come on. What is this? Looks like it used to go in there, maybe. No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna check again. Oh. See, I just kicked on. Something different happened right there. It wasn't just where I was, either. It's about a three-minute warm-up. Okay, it says it's pretty sluggish for the first three minutes. Well, I guess it's more like a six minute warm up. Okay, so, this off break, running lights on. Please. Man, really was hoping.
I'm actually going to preview some auction cars. And I just freaked out that I didn't have a cable with me, but I do. I swear, I'm going to start pushing that button. So I don't have my... Look at that, I didn't do it. Look at that. So I'm on my way to my auction to preview some cars. Now, one of the biggest bummers, bummers, oh bummers, about California is 55 with a trailer. So anything with a trailer is 55. And I was going a little faster than that, now I'm not. So it's going to take me, I mean, flow of traffic is, God, 70 to 80 miles an hour. And going 58 or so, it's going to take a lot longer. It's a good two and a half hour trip this way versus a minute, hour 52 or the other way. Yeah, I got it down to the minute. Okay, well, this will be an interesting video because I am making a video of hauling cars, buddy. And now, you know how you say, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Well, that's true to a certain degree, but I'm not saying that I'm gonna do everything right because it's been, oh God, four years since I've hauled cars. I'm not scared of hauling cars. I've got everything I need, I think. And hopefully I can just do it to it. But we shall see. I've actually never picked up at this auction. I have bought a lot of stuff here, though. And whatever. I don't know. I'm going to clip this off. I'm excited about doing a, a hauling video. See, I've been recording just some regular old 10 second clips, too. Just to show stuff. So I purposely don't push the button. That might be my problem. This is when it's crazy when you're going 55 and some douche knuckles going 43 in a freaking explorer talking on the phone. Goddamn realtor. Hope you can see this. Miramar Way. There goes a jet. This is where they filmed um, Top Gun. Fun fact or something. Traffic's moving along pretty good. I wish I was in a. Well, this truck's fine. It's a problem with pulling a trailer. Knocks you down to 55 versus 75. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. You and your little crappy Sentra. You go, dude. You're cool as shit. <laughs> Fucking putz. The lane was merging and I had my blinker on for three cars. There was enough space from... Hang on now, I'll show you how far we were away. He was in that lane, I was in this lane. I was trying to get over. And two cars went by me and there was about that much space between me and the van. We're both going about the same speed. He slams on his brakes. Douchebag. We just passed one. Now there's another. I don't know what they look for. Well, yeah, I do. They look for illegals. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, but no, there's like another one before him spaced out back there. I was going to make a video and say, hey, even truck speed. Woo-ha! And stuff like that. Because this guy's leaving me in the dust. Speed limit is 55 for trucks. We're going up a hill. And I'm having to clip it up to 62 to keep up with him. No, I'm not keeping up with him. Look at that. Just beautiful. Not my favorite place to live. It's just a little bit too far away from what I want to be around. But it's beautiful out there. We've made a tropical setting in San Diego. It's just beautiful. Tropical in the middle of a desert. Okay, we're getting out of this way, this guy here. It's just too much. Actually, there's something really cool up here. This guy's pulling an old teardrop trailer. Looks like an old travel all or a suburban, but I, 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 I don't know. Could be some kind of van looking thing. I might just keep this going until I come up on it. Actually going up to pick up a car at auction. You didn't even see this one previewed. You see something really into a previewed. 
I didn't have camera ability that day and everything, and so whatever. You're gonna see the pickup. Well, this is the pickup. That's like a panel. Couldn't tell from farther back, but it's like a roundy panel. He's pugging, chugging right along too, buddy. Let's see. Oh, it's an old, um, yeah, oh, yeah. Jebby, I think, Jebby. Pretty cool. Dodge, sorry. The Dodge 100. Well, I wanted to see his truck. Look at the front. I'd like it over. Cool old truck. Be cool to have something like that with this motor or a Cummins motor or something in it. No, it wouldn't. These are so much more comfortable to drive. It's pitiful. Love this bridge. Super, super beautiful little spectacle of architecture. Well, I think that's what I'd call it, too. Little horns and bridges. That, that was kind of funny. Except that was in the way. It kind of did the whoop, smiley face thing. Okay, well, that's enough jerking around here. Actually, this valley right here is just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, yeah. Look at the avocado orchard. All that's avocados. Everything you see. All that greenery. Pretty much everything in these hills is avocados, miniolas, oranges, tangerines, tangelos, lemons. I have seen no less than 60 police officers on bikes. Look, with the AK-47s on the back. Oh, that's cool. I've seen no less than 60 of them coming from San Diego going back up to Riverside. Not to be unpoliceotic or nothing, but I guess my question is, it seems like it's funeral type thing when they send all the bikes. Um, makes me wonder, do these guys get paid to take a three hour bike ride to go ride in a parade and then get paid three hours to go home? and get a full day's wages. If there's 60, I'll guarantee there's 100. I, I, I can't, I'm flabbergasted. Makes me wonder. Make you wonder maybe, I don't know. Not you, you, not me. You, you me, 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 you. You know what I mean? Like Elsinore. Okay, well I'm pulling off the road here. I've got my first problem of the trip. And it's not a big one. But it's a one. Get my flashers on. Check this stuff out here. Whoa, buddy! Okay, whoa, it's windy. There we go. Send my dad a picture. I get it. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now. Pinch point. Pinch point my ass. That's a whip your hand off point. a bit more. Wow, that cleared up. Wait, and I know you hate it, but there you go. That'd be okay there. That'd be okay there, huh? I mean, I would think so. Oh, breeder, right over my computer. Yeah, got the truck all shucked in here. I'm stopping at Target. Can't find a Walmart that's close to this auction. 
without going past it, which I almost did. This here is a fat one. It is 2.30. <laughs> I honestly don't know how long it's going to take me to load up this truck. Battery will be dead, or what the deal will be. So what I wanted to do was get some snacks, get some food. I gotta get Breeder some dog food. We ran out of dog food this morning. And kind of, we'll have a little, we'll have a little knick-knick at the auction. This is such a chick store. Look at this. Like Euro shopping cart. This is a Target. I actually cannot believe I'm doing a Target walk around. Lots of clothes. Lots of women in bikinis. I like that. I think this one has grocery. Yes, it does. All the way together. What time? I got a bum wheel? My car guy. He used to give me a good cart. Huge stores. Pizza Hut. Holy hell, they got a Pizza Hut. That is kind of more upscale than a McDonald's, isn't it? I need socks because I never wear shoes. So I never wear socks. I see hands. Seriously, GPS signal lost in Walmart. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well get black ones and it'd be like dress socks. That's insane. Cushion notion. Cushion crew. I guess that's what we're getting. I don't want to turn left on this long lane. I'm walking around. And you want me to turn. Wow, some people pay nine, ten dollars a pair for that's just crazy. This I'm I'm pissed off enough about this. But got my first thing. Hagar, huh? I did start getting some brands here. They carry Levi, yeah they do. Wrangler. We're drifting. Groceries. You know what? I think you can get CDs with cursing music here. Versus at Walmart, they don't allow cursing. Now this is just a really quick walk through of Walmart. Oh yeah. This is where they don't have boys and girls toys anymore. They have just both. Let's look. Dolls. Legos. Now, that is neat for the toy companies. I didn't think of that. They're making some girl-centric Legos. Interesting. Oh, God. Look at this little girl elf crab. GPS signal lost. Can 
can't believe parents would spend like hundred dollars on one of them stormtroopers for their little bastards. Gender neutral toys. Are you kidding me? You can't keep these kids moving. Stop breathing. Such a, 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 a woman store. Do they have Frenches? There's all different kinds of Heinz. And since Heinz is making mustard now, French is fired back and started making ketchup. We don't actually carry it here. I can avoid that stuff pretty easily. Man, this whole no pets thing is not sounding right. She's still trying to give me directions. Shut this off soon. Actually, with all this stuff, I'm putting this back. I don't want it. Too much money. Wow. Well, eggs are a lot more expensive than that nowadays. Kind of got breads. Dog food. Because you don't get to see, like I told you, GPS signal lost. Two cents more than Walmart. Somebody's gonna be a happy dog. Chicken and liver, huh? Well, I'll take a pair of breeder for about a week or two, maybe. Yeah. You know, as I say that, I think then why not grab a couple more? Save my battery for the auction. One on our car guy. He's got a C. He can't find a C-sized battery. I'm betting he's not so bright. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm gonna shut this off. I've got to make an auction video, so I'm gonna need this. All the battery I can get.
get a quick picture before I get going here. Where we got a empty trailer video. Make sure to add me on Facebook. Subscribe here on YouTube. I am going to be doing quite a few of these over time. Add into the mix. I need a nice. What I really need is a. Oh wow! That make me need to go there. I need a nice V10 excursion. That's exactly what I need. Nothing more. Nothing less. V10 excursion. Come here. You want to come up here? You're a good girl. We'll get you looking outside. There we go.